Okay, so yesterday, what's today? The 27th, 28th, 29th, 29th, 30th, 31st. I think it's the 27th. Um, yesterday, the 26th, October 26th, I hit 5 million. 5 million on TikTok, like officially, like I watched it turn. So now I have 5 million followers on TikTok, which is absolutely amazing fantastic like one million followers was amazing blew my mind i've never hit a million anything and then two three four were obviously amazing <laughs> and then uh five million is just like another huge milestone and you know I'll, I'll never know if i'm gonna ever gonna hit 10 million so i really wanted to celebrate this one and i bought myself a plaque but tiktok doesn't hand out plaques youtube does like 100,000 and then like a million you get um <clears throat> you get uh plaques that they send you and no tiktok does nothing so i bought my I bought myself a nice plaque it should be here in like a month so <laughs> i'll show you when i get it Like, give me. Seriously, looks like a clown. <laughs> oh my I love Halloween so much. I just, it's such a, I love the creativity. Got stuff in my teeth. Listen, I got another package from Spirit Halloween. And I just think the, I just think these packages should always be open on camera because I never know what's coming out of these boxes. When it involves uh, costumes, Halloween, creativity, I gotta open it on camera because I'm just not sure. You know? What do you got in here? Oh no! <laughs> Look at the little bad costume. I saw um, Zachariah, a fellow TikTok creator, had one of these. Oh my. Take life. One cup at a time. Look at the little Duncan hat. I think I got a big hat. I wish that would fit my head. Okay, it's the extra large one. It might it might fit Riley. I might keep this part. This is like you think it's a hat? It's not. It's a. I might keep that for myself. Oh, having a bad hair day? Slap on my little Duncan visor. 
Let's go see if this fits the shotgun rider. Now, if he wore this on the way to Duncan, oh my cutie patootie, we would get coffee for sure. Okay, I'm going to get coffee. Does anybody want to go? <laughs> Sit. Sit. <laughs> Can I get a paw? Can I get a high five? Can I get a high five? Thank you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I would like an iced uh, caramel, an iced caramel coffee with cream and sugar and a side of cutie. <laughs> I just walked out of the post office, checking the P.O. box. And I guess the back of my sweatshirt, this is a hangover hoodie. That's a brand. They sent me the sweatshirt on the back. It says, do not disturb, like in really bright orange, like goofy lettering. It just says, do not disturb. I haven't worn the sweatshirt in a while. I forgot. And some guy goes, oh, I like your sweatshirt. The do not disturb. He's like, that's pretty cool. He's like, that's funny. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And he goes, you know, yeah. He's like, I did just disturb you, but <laughs> yeah. He just goes, yeah, happy Friday. <laughs> I got no mail, so I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get back in my car now. Have a, I haven't interacted with anyone today, so I was like, what? <laughs> Remember, I put those goodie bags together for my coworkers, and I was like, this is kind of cute. A little bit of candy, a little bit of gags. I had like the little, I had like the little like, <laughs> excuse my language, jar of fucks, little mini jars. And I put the word fucks. And it's like a little jar of fucks. So like when you're tired at work, you're like, here's my little, my little jar of f's. This is how much I care. So they all loved that stuff, and then they gave me their goodie bags, and you know they just had to outdo me. They just, I thought I did good. My mom was even like, these are cute, and then I get their stuff, cuter. Let me show you what they got. Look at the packaging. Christine, a nice dark bag. You can't even see what's inside. That's the real goodie. A glow stick right on top. Oh, I could use that in a video. Um, <laughs> that's immediately what my brain goes to. I could, I could use that. Oh, it's a sword. Goes on top of this. I could definitely use this in a video now. A little skeleton spooky pan. Ooh, gummies, candy, boo books, free frosty. You get a free frosty at Wendy's? Oh, I love their frosties. Okay. Oh, shut up. Oh, a nice cookie. A nice sugar cookie. Hand decorated. Look at that. They did a pretty good job. Oh, a little trail mix. Peanut butter monster trail. How come more people don't hand out trail mix on Halloween? Hey, Google. They know me too well. I don't know if they put this in everyone's. Googly eyes. Different size googly eyes. The googly eyes. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, these are little dog treats for Riley. Of course, they gave treats to Riley. These are, you know, bacon flavored. This one's a cute little, look at this big purple, you know, what, a bucket. A little plant. A little plant in there. Something else I gotta keep alive. Look at this. May contain booze. Isn't that cute? And I love the, the shiny, shiny. There's like long stringy ones, little dots, squares. Love that. Oh, a little chew toy. Zanies Double Dentals. Little chew toy. Another thing for Riley. There's candy galore in here. Someone else made these little sucker, little ghost suckers. Look classic. There's candy that I've been snacking on. M&M's, Skittles, Snickers. Oh my gosh, there's a lot in here. Starburst, granola bar. Oh, this was my granola bar. I took this to work, didn't eat it. Granola bar. And she wrote me a note. This is the coworker that loves. She wrote me a note. It was so cute. I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her. Oh, and a candle. Black Sesame. Oh my God, that's so calming. It really is. Look, that looks like a, such a nice candle too. Black sesame. That calmed me right down. I almost forgot what we were doing. They, I mean, thank you to her, but thank you. This, I mean, the present, a little ghosty, pop it out. You can see the goodies. Little stickers. Pears dispenser, classic pumpkin. Ooh, we got the these caramel apple suckers. I mean, this is a telltale sign that is Halloween. Pop rocks, sour gummies. Little sticker. Now that's cute. And they even got the little uh, candy corn paper. I just like the paper. Look at that. That would look good on the hat of this. They're just, they're just good. They're just good at their jobs. They're just good at Halloween gifts. Love it. Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jars and Jams with me, your host. I'm Jam. A little bit about me. I like cold showers, French onion soup, and jamming. Uh, uh. 
Oh, and now we've got some hot stuff flying off the shelves today. Speaking of shelves, do you have random piles of food sit on the shelf with nothing to put them in? Oh, we could fix that today. Because we're selling jars. Got mason jars, empty jars. Some come filled. This is definitely some type of nut that I'm allergic to. Someone get my EpiPen. Uh, uh, now you can have anything you see here, including myself, for three easy payments of your soul. <laughs> Sales are final. Now say it with me. We've got jars. We've got jams. We've got pregnancy tests. Talk about being in a jam. <laughs> Someone called Jerry. Tell him he's going to be a dad. Looks like we're heading to commercial break. Keep those wallets open. Yeah, gig's going good. People love this shit. Oh, and we're back. Hi, Jan here. You know, my friends call me Jan Jan, but if you're looking for trouble, it's Janice. Ah. Now let's bring in the big jars, which this is technically a jug, <laughs> which was my nickname in college. Babu. Oh, looks like we've got a caller. This is Jan. <laughs> it's Jerry. You pregnant? Call my lawyer. Speaking of being in a jam, if you need a lawyer, call mine. I've been sued 75 times. Can you believe that? It's 555 five, five, And that's the show, folks. I just heard that we just sold out. Ah, this has been Jars and Jams with Jan. I'll see you later. Which one of you interns is taking me to the hospital? Let's roll. I just stopped and got gas and chips and some booze. I got some like twisted teas. Some, I've been on like a blue moon beer kick lately. It's really good. Last night I went to a hockey game, a D1 college hockey game. It was really good. I never get to watch hockey in person. And they, I mean, like, hockey is really fun, but we all know, like, the real, the real show they put on is, like, in between the periods. Talking about the Zamboni guy. I love a good Zamboni. I love a good Zamboni guy. They really just put on a show. It's better than any, like, halftime show I've ever seen. The, they beat the team pretty bad, like, 16, 15 to 1. It was really fun. I got to hang out with, um, one of my coworkers goes to the games all the time. Someone, uh, from my high school. And then Mia went with me as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think it's you don't like taking. I don't know. That does look more like water than a white one. Right? But yeah, now I'm going to a rugby game. The wedding I went to, that my old college roommate's wedding that I went to, we used to play rugby together. Her husband still plays rugby, and they're from, from Wisconsin, and they're coming down to Illinois to play rugby. So I'm gonna like meet them like 45 minutes away and I'm gonna go watch rugby with them. I haven't watched rugby in forever. It's a very sporty weekend. And yeah, I, I'm not I'm not mad about it. Good, good, Bill. They can even cut the string for him. I played eight man. I went from eight man to lock to prop. So I just kept getting heavier and slower. What did you play? I just played fullback. Like, just fullback. <laughs> just my, my I'm like ping ponging just... around. They're like, she's just getting slow. I, I only knew 15 and that's all I played. 15. I think I was eight. No, yeah, I was. Eight was my lucky number. Then it kept moving me. Yeah, no, Mike just said, you're the last of that We'd all swing our heads around and you're just, you're just out there by yourself. I'm like, okay, she's got it. We're gonna light them up. Are pumpkins recycling or trash? Recycling or trash? I have no idea. It smells good. It smells like cantaloupe. 